Hello devs. In today's video, I'm going to explain the latest Unity security policy update that started around October 3rd, 2025. Unity has released a new mandatory security fix that every developer needs to apply. Otherwise, your game or app may get rejected on stores like Google Play in upcoming months. Let's go step by step and see what's happening, why it matters and how to fix it easily. So Unity discovered a critical security vulnerability that affects all projects made in Unity 2017.1 or later. It impacts Android, Windows, Mac OS and Linux builds. This issue could allow unsafe file access, but don't worry, Unity has already fixed it and released tools for all developers. Even though there is no evidence of real-world attacks, Unity wants everyone to apply the fix immediately. Unity worked closely with partners like Google Play, Microsoft and Valve to protect users. If you don't patch your app, you may receive an email from Google Play saying further action required, Unity vulnerability fix. So even if you haven't received that message yet, it's better to update now because this will become mandatory soon. Now which versions are affected? All Unity versions 2017.1 and later. Older versions like Unity 5, X are safe and don't require change. For Unity 2017, X and 2018 X, there is no editor patch, you must use the Unity binary patcher tool. For Unity 2019.1 and above, you can fix it by updating the editor or patcher. Let's start with the easiest solution, using the patch tool. The patcher discussion and the official Unity security page also list which Unity editor builds already include the security fix. So you don't have to rely only on the patch tool if you can update the editor instead. For example, Unity version 6000.0.58 F2 includes the security fix. So updating your editor to that version will make your app secure. Another example is Unity 2022.3.62 F2. This LTS build also includes the fix. Make sure you avoid older old editor, for example 6000.0.54 F1 because those may not include the patch. The full list of supported editor versions and the guidance on which editor to download is explained in the patcher discussion link Check that link in the description to pick the correct editor for your project. Download the patcher for your OS. The Unity binary patcher tool works for Android, Windows and Mac OS builds. Download latest one. If you are using Windows, download the Windows patcher. If you are on Mac OS, choose the Mac version. Once downloaded, extract the zip file. Inside you'll find a file named unityapplicationpatcher.exe. Double click it to open. You'll see options for Android, Windows or macOS patching. In this video, we'll choose Android because we're updating a mobile game. Now, here's what you need to do. First, build your AAB or APK file from Unity, the same one you would normally upload to Google Play Console. Add your APK inside patcher tool. Increase your version code to a higher number than the current version. For example, if your version code is 17, change it to 18. You can check your version code in Unity by going to File, Build Profile, Player Settings, Other Settings. Add your key store, password and key alias. Then click on Patch. The tool will process your file and create a new patched APK inside the result path folder. Once the patching is complete, this new build will be secure and ready to upload. 
Now go to Google Play Console, upload the patched APK or AAB and submit your new release. After review, your app should be approved successfully and the vulnerability warning will disappear. Solution 2 Updating Unity Editor This method is for anyone using Unity 2019.1 or newer. Open your Unity Hub, go to the Installs tab and click on Install Editor. Choose a newer version that already includes the fix. Unity 6000.0.058 F2 These versions already have the security fix included. If you are using an older version like 6000.0.54 F1, update to a newer build. You can also download the fixed versions directly from the Unity download archive if you don't see them in Unity Hub. Choose new version and install in your system. Once installed, open your project in the new version. Unity will automatically update your project and may show warnings if any packages are deprecated. Update those packages first, then run your game to make sure everything works correctly. After confirming that all features, ads and gameplay work properly, build your project again. Go to File, Build Profile, Player Settings, Update Your Version Code and Bundle Version. Add Key Store and Password and make sure your target API level is at least 36. Now make a new build and upload it to Google Play Console. Open Google Play Console and create new release. Upload APK or AB file and symbol.zip file. After submission, click Save, then Review and Publish. Your app will be reviewed and approved, usually within about one hour or day as per your account. Once approved, you can confirm that all vulnerability warnings have been removed. Your app is now secure and compliant with Unity's latest security policy. That's all for today's video. If this guide helped you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Unity tutorials and updates. And if you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.